My name is Amit and I should be doing a five part video series on Pinterest.com in which I go through the concepts of the site and I explore all its features and I show you how you can use it for your own purposes. So what exactly is Pinterest.com? Uh, in the, their own words, if you go to their website, they explain themselves in one single line which says Pinterest.com is a tool for collecting and organizing things that you love. Now, although it sounds very nice, it still explains nothing whatsoever about what the website does. So, my way of explaining this is that it's a mix between Facebook and Flickr.com. So, Facebook is something which requires no explanation. And everybody who's on the web is very familiar with it. Flickr.com is the world's number one photo sharing website. And in case you haven't seen it, uh, you should go and have a look at it. It's spelled as F-L-I-C-K-R dot com. So what a person can do on Flickr.com is that he can upload or post images and photographs, add some captions to it, attach some search keywords. And these photos and images can be seen by others on the site now. So, and he can see others' images and photos. So what Flickr.com is doing is it's creating a social network based on images and photos. <coughs> Sorry. So what Pinterest.com has done is that it's taken the social networking concept from Facebook and taken the photo sharing concept of Flickr.com and mashed them together and showed the mix in a new interface which they call as Pinterest.com. In fact, uh, one of the most enchanting features of Pinterest.com is the visual interface. It's an interface which hasn't been seen earlier on the web anywhere before. Uh, how the visual look is, or rather appears to be, is that uh, the entire c content, which is mostly photos and images, are arranged in three or four columns. And it's a very seamless experience to scroll through you know, the entire content. So, where does the word Pinterest come from? Why choose the word Pinterest? The word Pinterest comes from the word pin. Now, in Pinterest.com, a pin is the basic fundamental unit of content. A pin is nothing but an image or a photo which a person posts on the site, adds a caption to it, adds some search tags, or search keywords. So, you have hundreds and thousands of people posting hundreds and thousands of pins. And then, uh, these pins can be organized into boards. So, for example, if you have posted some pins about animals, you can create a board called animals and put all your animal pins under that. So, in a similar way, you could have a board called fishing, you could have a board called fashion. You can make a board for any kind of concept or idea you have. The whole idea of boards is to be able to logically organize and structure your pins. So, you have these hundreds and thousands of pins and boards which are being posted by hundreds and thousands of people. Now all these pins and boards can be shared and through that activity of sharing people find other people who have similar interests. So for instance if I'm a fan of Angelina Jolie I'll put up a few pins of her. Now someone else on Pinterest.com who's searching for Angelina Jolie will find my pins and through those pins he, will, he or she will find me. And then uh, that person is able to see my other pins and other boards and if he likes what he sees he will start following me. So that is the underlying philosophy of Pinterest where people find each other based on similar or shared content. <coughs> Sorry. How do you interact on Pinterest? You have three modes of interaction. One is you can follow. You know, if you start following someone it means every time he posts something new, you can see it on your Pinterest wall. <coughs> Sorry. The second way and the third way are very similar as to what you find on Facebook. The second way is that you can like pins. If you see a pin you like, you can mark it as like. So it means the person who posted that pin will see that you've liked this particular pin. So he may want to come and look at your profile and in that process he'll see your pins and boards he may start following you as a result of you liking his one pen. And the third method is sharing. 
if I share your pin, it means your pin will show all my votes and the people who are already following me will be able to see your pin and through that they also get to know you. So these three uh, are the basic modes of interacting with Pinterest.com. I think that about sums up uh, the very fundamental concepts of Pinterest.com, how it works. And before I sign up for this video, I would like to address one more <coughs> uh, point and it's the answer to a question which I've often heard from other people is that if Pinterest is also social networking and Facebook is also social networking, what is the difference? Why choose one over the other? My response to that is that Facebook and Pinterest have one very basic and fundamental underlying difference. Facebook puts more emphasis on the person and less on his content. Pinterest puts more emphasis on the content and less on the person. So for instance, if I go and add somebody as a friend on Facebook, I'm adding that person because I know him in some way or the other. I'm certainly not adding him because I like what he puts on his Facebook wall. No. Am I adding that person for who he or she is? On Pinterest, it's exactly the opposite. If I start following you on Pinterest, it's because I like what you're putting up on Pinterest. I like your boards and pins. It's highly unlikely I even know you. But yet I'll start following you because I like what you post and we share similar interests. So Facebook is more about people. Pinterest is more about content. That is where they completely go separate ways and that is their underlying difference. So I think this more or less wraps up the brief introduction. If you follow the five part series, you'll see all these concepts in more detail. And uh, I shall be walking you through the actual site. You know, so it's easy for you to understand and understand and be able to assimilate the concepts which I'll be talking about. And it's fine, I'll be seeing you in the next few videos and thank you for joining me.